Hello again, Brave New World. Good afternoon. Well, you see, a few, a few, a few minutes ago, I was watching a few. I was watching a few episodes of the last season of Avatar, Avatar: The Legend of Aang, the part where Aang and the gang, Toph, Katara, Sokka, Toph, Katara, and Sokka arrive to the fire, arrive in the Fire Nation, and what happens? Well. <laughs> At this point, I at this point they start having a lot of adventures. At some point, they plan an invasion and stuff like that. But I watched this particular part where Ang uh, and the gang uh, steal some clothes, and Ang ends up in a school. And also, he tries to speak as Fire Nation as possible. <laughs> Funny. And anyway, I saw them interacting. I saw them gambling and. I saw them basically living and doing idle things, which gets me to think one good thing about the Fire Nation, and that is quite... Uh, what's the word? I feel a little bit of envy when I see that. And that is, the good thing about the Fire Nation is that they all grow amazing beards. Yes, they all grow amazing beards. Ozai has a long goatee. Uh, the admiral, the commander, turn admiral Zhao 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 as Z H A O Zhao grows an amazing beard that looks quite pointy and <laughs> sharp. I like to believe that the source of Iroh's power, the source of Uncle Iroh's power, is his amazing beard. Of course, his amazing beard is the source of everything, and Fire Lord Azulon. Also had an amazing beard and long hair. What else? The, the headmaster of the school where Aang was studying also has an amazing beard. The people who are operating the giant drill, Fire Nation people, they have an amaz they have amazing beards. Which gets me to thinking that's the one good thing about the Fire Nation that I also envy. They grow amazing beards. 